What's up, guys? Me and Preston over here. Nathan, Kayla, and Amber working on rabbit cages today. Kayla's been cleaning up the barn this morning. Doing a fantastic job. Nathan's fixing the back of the rabbit cages. These, these cages are, uh, I think they're 24 by 24 by 18. And uh, we'd cut a hole in the back of the panel and they were affixed to a um, nesting, box. nesting box and little uh, cold weather area where they could get in out of the cold weather. And we, uh, It got tore down whenever we were uh, in transition of moving. So we're not going to put it back. We're going to actually put them. Uh, we're going to hang this cage on the wall here, and then uh, and then we'll wrap the cage with some uh, bubble wrap or some something to uh, to keep the wind off of them and and kind of give them a little cozy space in the winter time. That's midnight and Daisy with the Rex rabbits. And then Bertha, and those two are over there making babies. Yeah, these are Flemish giants on the end right here. They're very large rabbits. But that's David and Goliath over here. We're, um, they're not the ideal meat rabbit. This is poor, this is probably more of the, uh, what I'm used to for a meat rabbit. So we've got a pair, male and female of those which will breed, and then we've got some of those Flemish Giants. They're a much larger rabbit. Um, I don't know if it's, well, I'm not sure how it works out to be best um, for, uh, for breeding purposes. You know, they're so much larger, do they consume that much more food, and then it not be worth uh, breeding such large stock? because you know mom and dad and eat a lot. So eat a lot more than these here. We won't wait until their offspring is their size before we um, put them in the, send them to freezer camp. So I don't think we'll have as much feed uh, invested in them. Right now these are temporary cages for them. The, um, Amber's wanting to build a paddock out here in the field uh, in one of these clover patches where we can put them in there. But I'm a little concerned about that. We have a tremendous amount of coyotes up here.
Well, there you have it. That's it. That's what we did. Put them up on the wall. They're, what, five foot high or four foot high? Off the ground. Just a little four foot off the ground. That should keep the, the dogs from harassing them. And um, the wild rabbits. Maybe. The wild rabbits from contaminating them, getting them uh, mites. Right now they have mites. Uh, we've had them down low on the ground. And, uh, and they'll get... They'll get mites from from the wild rabbits. Of course, they'll spread it to the chickens as well uh, because they all chickens free range. So, so the chickens are gonna get a bath and so vinegar we water. Dip the chickens now. Okay. But that's got four of them up there. We still have, uh, uh, or there's four cages there. We've still got one more that we're gonna hang up here separately. Get that attached up, and then that should have them all up off the ground. Uh, pretty safe and then we're gonna start building some boxes because these uh, these mamas here are pregnant now so all right that's it guys another one task down we got the cows moved yesterday into a new pen we've been working on the fence for about a week trying to get it brought up got them moved over there show you some of that later until then we'll catch you on the next one